And, and have you ever just walked into a situation, just celebrated God for what he's doing, and right after celebration, look like the enemy comes and try to tear you down everywhere, from the north, south, east, and the west. Uh, and, and the first thing the devil will start doing, that's why God loves family. He start working in your family to hurt you through your family. Hurt, oh, let hurt incur through the family. Uh, losing, uh, losing family members. And David thought that his family members were literally dead because if you walked in and all you saw was ashes, certainly you would believe, mm, oh, my wife, my children, my, oh, everybody is gone. But actually, uh, God had actually just really just uh, took, had allowed uh, the Amalekites to just take David's wives and his sons and his daughters and put them with them, uh, put them in a place with them and try to just try to keep them so that they can multiply from them. That's what the enemy want to do to your family. The enemy want to take your family members and use them so he can multiply evil against the family. Yeah, yes, he do. He won't try to let our children get off into stuff that's going to embarrass us and let them be the best in what they're doing so that the character that we've taught them can be lost. I know I'm talking to somebody and know it. Glory to God. But, but David was hurt. The Bible says David, David was greatly distressed. And you can say what you want to. There are some things that have come upon you. It'll hurt you to the core you of your heart. You can't ask God for something and believe it's coming and won't praise him for it. Maybe I need to go to this side. So the Holy Ghost told me, I was in Revival Friday night. The Holy Ghost told me, said, what we need to do, we need to pop. Yeah, pop out of depression. Said, what does that mean, Sister Mathis? What does pop mean? P, pray. O, obey. P, praise. Because when you can learn to pray, obey, and praise, you will pop out of depression. <laughs> Lord, I'm going to talk just a little while longer. Yeah, you'll, uh, you'll pop out of loneliness. Yeah, yeah. You, you might hop, but you want to really pop because it's what you come out of. You don't want to get back in. Is somebody going to glory to God? So what David does, right in the midst woman of God, while everything is burned down, he repositions himself for restoration. I need to talk to somebody this morning because the only reason why the Holy Ghost says we ought to pursue, overtake, and recover all, what God is really telling us, reposition yourself. After everything has been burned down, taken away, and look like you've lost and suffer lack, the Holy Ghost is saying, reposition yourself for restoration. Because had not David, oh, glory to God, encouraged himself, encouraging himself really repositioned him. Because you can't be discouraged looking for a miracle. It's the merry heart that will soothe you like a medicine. I wish I can talk back to somebody now. You can't be sad and want God to give you a miracle. He won't do nothing but pity you grown. But when he see your faith, he'll come where you are. Maybe I need to go to this side. Uh, the woman in St. Luke, the 18th chapter, the Bible does not give her a name. But however, this woman was so consistent going into a courtroom with a man that didn't fear God, nor did he, oh my God, he didn't fear God, nor did he fear man. But this woman kept showing up, oh my God. She kept showing up consistently after coming from prayer. And I tell people all over the country, you, it's what you do in the closet that's going to help you on the scene. It's what you do behind the scene that's going to help you when you get on the scene. It was what she did in her closet. Set her up, oh my God, in the courtroom. <laughs> Good God Almighty. But this woman, even though she was consistently going against this obstacle, she would show up believing God for change. A and the Bible says, if you keep on reading there, Jesus says, see what the unjust judge said? He would not for a while. Tell somebody it only happens for a while. <laughs> Yeah, it only lasts for a while. It would not wait. When you praying, stuff only laughing for a while. But while she was praying, uh, she was believing God so much so. And the, the Bible says, Jesus said, hear what the unjust just said. He would not for a while, but because this woman troubled me. Faith will trouble your situation and make whatever is holding your dilemma not to come, uh, holding up you from getting your victory, it'll make it lose its strength. 
Because if you keep on showing up, believing God, whatever is keeping you from your next miracle, it'll lose strength. Glory to God. So this woman kept showing up. And this is what Jesus said. And shall not God avenge his own elect who cried to him day and night, though he bear long, he comes speedily. But this is what made him come. When he come, he has to find faith there. 